In today's video, I'm gonna share a really simple strategy that you can use to find calm in moments of distress. It's called safe space visualization. That's the technical term, I think. Um, and it's something that's really widely used in therapy, but it's super simple and it's something that any of us can use. It basically consists of imagining ourselves somewhere where we feel safe. And we practice imagining our ourselves in that situation and then when we begin to feel distressed we can take ourselves back to that safe space so this is a technique that I first came across when I was in therapy and I was going through some trauma therapy and before we embarked on the tough stuff then we practiced this safe space visualization and so for me I would imagine myself sitting with one of my daughters reading to her a bedtime story in bed because that for me was a place when I felt really good and safe and calm and still now if I'm struggling if I feel anxiety rising I will take myself back to that place in my head and I'll imagine myself sat with my daughter reading a bedtime story and it really helps so it's as simple as really thinking about a time, a place, people with whom you feel safe and supported. And you can do this for yourself or with someone you're supporting. You can do it even with really quite young children if you kind of use age and stage appropriate language and phrasing and that kind of thing. So you imagine a place where you feel safe and then how you kind of really bring this to life is to try and add as much context as you can so ask yourself or ask of the person that you're working with you know where are you what can you see who are you with uh, what can you smell what can you hear how do you feel and then you can think about sort of taking a deep breath uh, and feeling really calm whilst you're bringing to mind this safe space. So you'll be talking about it, really exploring in some detail what this looks like, what it feels like, what it sounds like, what it smells like, all those different things. So you're really, really conjuring this safe space to mind. And it can be a real place uh, that often really helps. And it doesn't have to be like mine where it's quite static. You might be walking along by the sea or um, you know, out in the woods with your dog or it could be anything, anywhere where you feel safe, feel calm. Um, and yeah, it can, so it can be a real place um, or it can be somewhere that you've kind of imagined and you can create this safe space. But the really important thing basically is that you can bring it to mind, that you can visualize it, that you can imagine what it looks like, what it sounds like, what it smells like. Um, it can help to really talk about it, to really explore it. You might want to write it down. You might even with a younger child, you might think about maybe drawing it um, and then practice visiting that safe space in your head at times of calm. So like all of the different anxiety hacks that I share, we have to practice them at times of calm. It doesn't make sense to try and do this when we're in a moment of crisis. We want to be able to use it in a moment of crisis, but in order to be able to do that, we've got to practice it in times of calm. So remember that old adage of you don't try and teach a man to swim when he's drowning. We've got to learn to swim in the calm times beforehand. And then when we find ourselves in that difficult situation, we can hopefully apply what we've learned before. So you practice it at times of calm so that then if you feel the anxiety rising you can take yourself back to that safe space now I love the safe space visualization technique because it's really simple. Um, it can be a really nice way of exploring with a child or young person that you're supporting what makes them feel safe. And you can also be thinking about how can we incorporate some of this into their uh, kind of lived experience in school or whatever setting that you're, you're working into to help them feel safe if they're perhaps someone who has experienced trauma. Um, and you can do it absolutely anywhere so actually this is something that a kid can do in the middle of lessons if they begin to feel that they're going into overwhelm they can take themselves to the safe space and help them to feel calm the other thing you can use it for is if you've got a child who struggles um, who kind of perhaps maybe has meltdowns or burnouts towards the end of the day and you're looking for ways to help them to reset at regular points throughout the day to keep them within their kind of window of tolerance that's a whole nother video um, but to keep them within you know what they can manage without kind of this happening um, you can do this break time, lunch time, get them to get in the habit of taking themselves to their safe space ahead of potentially uh, stressful, triggering or otherwise slightly overwhelming situations. Get them to find their calm. So it's kind of a proactive calming mechanism as well as one that you can use to help you if you find yourself in a tricky situation. So it's really, really simple. I hope that you find it helpful. Um, let me know if you use it or if the kids that you're working with find it helpful. 
and if you had your own take on it like I know some of you are super creative um, and you think of different ways of using these simple strategies that I give you and you make them kind of really wowy so if you do that please leave a comment I'd love to hear how it's working for you uh, and the kids in your care good luck um, please subscribe I'm trying to always remember to say that now because I'm super keen to get as many subscribers as possible still aiming for that 10,000 so I can go use the YouTube space and uh, let me know if you have any ideas of future videos you would like and I hope you really like my new audio and video setup because I'm using all new equipment today so fingers crossed that this worked okay bye bye and see you next time bye